Jim Schwartz with 360 Yield Center here. I want to talk to you about a new pest in grain sorghum, and that's the sugarcane aphid. It's, uh, it's been a really mild winter in the south, and we believe uh, that could lead to uh, an increased potential for the problem this year in the south and midwest. You know, the uh, sugarcane aphid has been around a while, but it's a newer pest in grain sorghum. A couple of reasons that uh, it tends to be a, a newer problem or that we, we see it more as a problem in grain sorghum now, number one, the populations can build very, very quickly. This, uh, this aphid can, can reproduce quickly, build its populations up, and secondly, the dynamics, population dynamics are such that it takes a while for beneficial predators to build up following the, the buildup of the, uh, the aphid itself. So um, whether it's parasitic wasp or ladybugs or even fungi, it takes a while for them to build up to help us control the, uh, the sugarcane aphid. So as such, we've not really seen the beneficial predators uh, do enough damage to control the population. Uh, the damage themselves, they have a piercing sucking mouth part. They suck out plant juices. They can really inhibit grain sap. So they uh, can lead to large, large yield losses. Um, also, they produce a honeydew. The aphids secrete a honeydew. And interestingly enough, there's a sooty mold that will grow on that honeydew. It can get severe enough that it will cover the leaf and reduce photosynthesis, again leading to a reduction in yield. Finally, that sooty mold itself, there's such a volume of it, it can lead to harvest issues when you're trying to cut that grain sorghum. So a lot of issues with the uh, sugarcane aphid and grain sorghum. Really about five tips we want to point out as you start thinking about them um, in your fields uh, this summer. Number one, make sure you scout frequently. Uh, they will build up, again, those populations will build up quickly. So you got to get out there and continue to scout. If you treat them, don't, don't think that you're done, you're clear. You have to continue to scout and re-scout. Um, understand that there's limited treatment options. Some of the products you typically use for insect control likely won't work. There really are limited options, so make sure you understand what products work. Also, understand sometimes we may need some emergency exemptions, so know the products that you're going to apply. Third, know that coverage is the key to control. The, uh, the sugarcane aphid tends to build up its populations on the underneath side of the leaf, so we've got to make sure when we're applying products, we get good coverage on the top and bottom. That's where we think 360 undercover is a great option. I'm going to show you here a couple pictures from some water sensitive paper we, uh, we took last year comparing a plane to, to our 360 undercover in corn. And you can see the coverage on the top, but especially the coverage on the underneath side of the leaf is really important and it's so much better in undercover. And we think as we, we're considering controlling the sugarcane aphid, this is a key is to make sure you get coverage on the underneath side of the leaf. Fourth, make sure you scout frequently. Again, uh, even up to harvest, because of the harvest issue, don't sleep on this bug. Make sure you're scouting frequently and often. Um, remember, they will build up quickly. Finally, and most importantly, there are great uh, university extension publications out there. I'm going to show you a couple links here. Feel free to go to these links. They are great resources to help you understand how to manage and control sugarcane aphids and grain sorghum.